Hey guys, Robert again from Australian Camping 4 Wheel Drives and um, today we're going to be looking at all things a caravan cover. Um, we got provided a caravan cover by Super Cheap Auto and uh, look look at the weather today. We're down here at the uh, the bay and uh, the weather's fantastic and uh, what a better day to, to put on a caravan cover than today, hey? So uh, we'll head home and uh, we'll go put the caravan cover on and we'll show you how that goes as well. Alright guys. Okay guys, so we're back at the house now and uh, we've got the caravan cover out. So this is uh, made by a company called Coverall by looks of it. And uh, um, this caravan cover is designed for a, a variety of different sizes as well. So depending on the size caravan you've got, you can get a cover that will suit your caravan as well. So they come in a 16 foot to 18 foot range. You've got 18 foot to 20 foot, 20 to 22 and 20 to 24 foot uh, range for your caravan covers, okay? Now, uh, so this one here, this is actually an 18 to 20 foot caravan cover. Now, one thing that I will stress to you, hey, uh, a lot of caravan suppliers, they'll tell you, for example, that your caravan is so many feet long. What I'd suggest before you actually go out and get your caravan cover, go and take a tape measure and measure from the front to the back of your caravan. The reason I suggest that is because some caravan uh, manufacturers measure the inside of your caravan, not the outside. And you're going to want the measurements for the outside of your caravan cover. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take this out of the box and uh, we'll, we'll get it out, we'll have a look at the different parts that it's got. Then we're going to put it up on the caravan and uh, we'll give it a go and we'll show you how it all works out as well. Okay guys. Okay, so this is that out of the box. Uh, first thing that comes in is our bag. So there's bags of designs for when you don't have it on your caravan. You've got somewhere to store it as well. We've got some straps up here as well, which you can use to tighten it all up and uh, put it inside the bag. When you uh, don't need it in the bag, you just undo those straps, loosen it all up. So I'll just undo those. And then inside here, you've got some straps. Now those straps are designed to go underneath the caravan. This holds the, the uh, the caravan cover close to the caravan. So that's what they're designed for. So we'll give those a go in a moment as well. Uh, it comes with some instructions as well uh, that show you actually how to set the whole thing up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay it down here on the concrete and roll it up and then put it over the top of the caravan and then roll it out either side. Uh, they do actually have a little thing on here as well. It says front, so you know your front to your back, so you know which way you're aiming the thing as well. So uh, we're gonna get it out now and we're gonna put it down the ground. We'll, we'll uh, get it rolled up and then we're going to put it over the caravan and then set it up for us. Okay guys. So what we've done now is we've got it, and what you do is you put it on the ground, roll both ends in, so the front, roll that in, to the back, roll that in, and then you put it up over the top up there, so like we've got set up that up there. So it's just sitting up over the top of the caravan. Then what we're going to do is we're going to unroll it, and we're going to put it down both sides of the van. So we'll do that now, and I'll show you how we went. Okay guys, so we're done. So um, yeah, once we had that rolled over, the rest of it was relatively easy. You do need about two people to do this with as well. So uh, it just makes it a bit simpler if you've got the two people. This is the finished product. So you see the vents up top up there, I've got to open them up a bit more. But what happens is uh, they've got these straps here and they actually go underneath the van. So that's what keeps the, uh, the whole thing down, lower, hey. And uh, over here as well, we've got like a zipper that you can undo. See, so, I'll try and do it with one hand, it's always difficult, isn't it, hey? There you go. So that actually lets us into our door. So we've got a doorway just sitting there as well. And then now uh, if you don't need that, you just sit that back down again. It's also got one of those at the front also as well, eh? Just on the corners up here. So you've got a zipper that goes up the corner over there. And uh, I believe they actually got it on all the corners. So you've got another zipper on this corner here as well. And uh, they don't have any doorway obviously on the other side of the van. So I suppose I don't think many Australian vans actually have the doors on the other side, but I suppose if you had a van that was on the other side, you just need to be aware that the cover might not do that. 
Uh, same on the back here as well. You've got your zipper running all the way up top up there as well. And they've got these straps up here that you can use. And that tightens it onto the onto your um, your van quite well, hey. So uh, yeah. So that's it all set up and uh, looks like a good product. Uh, really happy with that. So uh, so you can get these if you go down to your super cheap auto store. They've got a good range of them down there. Go and have a look, but do what I suggested first of all. Make sure you measure your van properly from front to back. <laughs> uh, so you don't end up with the wrong size like we actually did the first time. Uh, yeah, it's something you, you want to make sure you always make sure you get the, the right size as well, hey. So uh, yeah, our van is 17 foot six inches is what the uh, uh, dim dimensions were when we were given the van but uh, we actually found out it's actually like a 19 foot van so we needed a slightly larger cover as well hey but uh, this one fits beautifully really happy with that and uh, yeah and you can still get into the van which is great also uh, I probably suggest the other thing you need to think about is solar because uh, you get solar on these things and uh, if you were using power and then you probably need to hook it up to power uh, to get your battery topped up as well um, so I probably suggest that and also make sure you turn your power off inside your van as well so you're not using power because you're not going to be getting solar power with this thing on the, on the, on the uh, covering it as well. Hey. Sorry guys, hope that's been of use to you and uh, we'll catch you next episode. Alright, talk to you later.